So I've recently acquired a Yashica TL Electro uh, on eBay for really cheap, I think under $10. And these aren't as popular as the, uh, like the regular Yashica GN series. And one reason for that is you cannot get the batteries for them anymore. They used to be like PX675, uh, which are no longer in production. So it's a big battery that uh, goes into this slot here and used to power the, the meter that uh, you can't see right now. But there's a meter in there that once you push down this button here, it turns on metering. Since there's no battery, you can't meter anything. It does shoot at the fail-safe shutter speed of 1000. And being an f2 lens, during bright, like uh, when it's bright out, you can still shoot it. So it's not useless, you just need some sort of light meter. Uh, one thing I've figured out is you can buy these uh, 675 zinc air batteries that are found in hearing aids for three four dollars at Walmart and they come in a pack of six and you just take the little sticker off here and leave them sit for a few minutes and they're ready to go and these fit in here and I'll show you how So to get these small zinc air batteries in there, I grab a tweezers. Back here, I grab a tweezers and uh, I'm gonna hit the camera like this. Let's move the light a little and positive side down. I would stick the batteries in there grab some of these washers and I'll have the sizes of the two types in the description and I'd stack these washers in here Take the original cap and screw it on. So let's see if we can see anything through the viewfinder. Nope. But let me have a look. Nope, that is not working. It has worked for me in the past, but you really need a tight connection here. If one of the batteries isn't touching the washer. If one of these batteries isn't touching this prong. Um, let's see if we can see that prong. It's right over here. There's a little prong here. And if it's, these batteries are not touching it, it won't make connection. Um, I have a 3D printer at home, so I 3D printed an enclosure like this that I'll leave a link in the description to. So what this does is it acts as that P battery that, uh, like P475 um, and, or 675, excuse me, and it makes that tight connection, as you can see here that metal pin is right in the center of it. And you take, let's get it out here. So to get it to work, you take one of your batteries here with the plus side down. So plus, side down and you take a washer 
and stick it in there. Now I had different washers I was going to use, but I'll use these ones instead and they don't exactly fit in the design. Or due to, due to printing tolerances and all that fun stuff. Okay, plus side down. Let's get a better number here. So I'll stick one washer in there. Another one. I haven't seen anyone that uh, made something work for the TL Electro, which is unfortunate as these are really nice cameras. And these are often crooked. As you can see, the washers aren't going straight down, so I'll take a marker and make them sit straight down. And I'll take the smaller washers, because I ran out of big ones, and stick three in there. Plus side, plus side down. And I'll stick it into the camera here. Let's screw the cover on. And let's see if it'll show us anything this time. So you can see that little green circle in there. No? So there's a green circle way in the far end that, depending on the Shutter speed changes in aperture. So, this shows that the camera works. And just for the uh, purpose of showing, it's already won. Let's do 60 shutter speed, which anything below a thousand if the batteries aren't working will not work the camera won't fire, at least in my camera. So let's see if it works. There we have it. It just fired and appears working. So this is the only way that I've found to get it to work. And one roll of these, well, the two batteries will shoot i'd say a roll maybe a little over the over a roll and if i bring in a multimeter here these batteries need exactly 2.7 volts to work and let's see we're sitting at 2.2 and yeah around 2.2 and the camera still working might have to compensate ISO a little for that um, I'll see how my film comes back and if that's the case I'll also be trying a lithium ion battery to see if I can use a 3 volt lithium with maybe some brass washers to reduce the voltage or try um, some sort of resistor make a design that a resistor sits between the battery and the terminals I don't know this is just a thought but now you can use your Yashica TL, TL Electro or you can pick one up on these on eBay for dirt cheap five ten bucks and if you have a 3D printer or pay a service to print something like that, you can use the camera. Well, I hope this helps someone to be able to use their camera or get a really cheap film camera for a student or someone who wants to get into uh, film photography. I'll see you next time.